we basically now have quite a good idea of what's happening with a lot of these large mammals in terms of trends uh, of what's happening over time and which areas they're found in. And this, is, this has come through the range-based monitoring, um, the COM system. Um, so we're beginning to pick up some really interesting trends on, on different species. And this is all about sightings, the number of sightings of, of wildlife that they see. What the range-based monitoring is showing us is that some species are stabilized or even slightly increased. Um, and others we're seeing, still seeing declines. We've just completed an analysis um, just now on five years of data from 10 contiguous conservancies in this region. What we're seeing is that Grevy zebra have stabilized and we're slightly increased. We're seeing st uh, slight increases in oryx, which is, which is really nice to see because these are, a, a, these are a species that really have received very little conservation attention. And we're seeing increases in giraffe as well. For Grevy zebra, in this region, they're not a species that are under threat from poaching. And basically their decline over the last 20, 30 years is really all around the loss of grasses on the rangelands. So with in increased investment on both rangeland management, as well as very specific um, conservation action around Grevy's through the conservancies and other affiliate organizations, Grevy Zebra Trust, what we're seeing is that actually we've, we've stopped the decline of that species that appears in these community areas, which is really exciting. Wild dogs, similarly, are a species that declined, um, particularly in the 80s and 90s, really went down to quite low numbers, probably not, no more than 200 in this region. And what we're seeing now is really good signs of increased sightings in the conservancies and coming back into areas where rangers report they haven't seen them for 15, 10, 15 years and we're now seeing wild dog coming back in there. So I think the wild dog are coming back because of changes in attitudes towards wild dog and, and uh, sort of the community buy-in towards you know, wanting to see wildlife and wanting to see these animals back on their land. I see community conservancies as one of the few positive things we're seeing in conservation at the moment. I feel very hopeful. I think it's a very long-term investment. It takes time to build the capacity and to, to build the strong ownership and to create the leverage and the benefits flowing back to people. But for me, essentially, if we want to have wildlife uh, ranging free and together with people and livestock as it always has been, then I see that this community conservancy model is the answer. And it's very exciting how the communities themselves have also, there's a massive commitment from communities, there's a massive interest from communities to form these conservancies.